is Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel and to another one and done. Um, this key was given to me by Indie Bros and the developer pub publisher White Thorn Games. So I want to take the time out to say thank you very much for providing me with a Steam key. And so um, we're going to definitely be playing through and reviewing this game as we go through. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I want to show you guys what the game looks like on Steam because it is available on Steam and it is on sale. It's a cheapo. $4.99 normally, but right now it's on sale for $3.49. And if you want the original soundtrack bundle, it's a cool $5.70 right now. I think normally like $7 and some change. Okay, so the release date was a few years ago, July 30th of 2017. Now, currently there are some mixed reviews, and the latest review was as of August last year. Um, basically, it says fix the trash achievement. Not really sure what that's about, but um the the <laughs> the review before that was a positive rev review cute and short most of the comedy lies in the extremely pessimistic and gross item descriptions so this ought to be interesting now this game is basically a coffee simulator or a simulator i guess you run a coffee shop and there's some other shenanigans that go that goes on um so there might be some betrayal uh some redemption and some coffee so that's what the description says so let's get into this i want to make sure that uh oh there's cheats we don't want to do that we don't want to cheat so i'm going to turn the music down just a tad just a tad just a tad a little bit loud in my ear maybe i can turn up a little bit more because it feels like it might be a little loud in my ear but it might not be the issue with you okay so we have level select what does that mean let's look at that i want to see what that means um, just out of curiosity, what does that mean? Okay, so, oh, so you can go and select this, this uh, specific levels. Okay, now, apparently the people that cre created this game um, are in Erie, Pennsylvania. Shout out to the people that live in Pennsylvania. I'm not from here, but I am a transplant. Love the state. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's go back to the main menu. And this is Bean Sylvania. Cute. Love it. All right. Okay, so let's get into the game. We're going to collect, click new story. I'm not ready. I am ready. Let's begin the game. Let's get to it. Um, it says here at the bottom. Oh, so is this like their Twitter? At Matthew White. Oh, dang, I missed that. So Clucker is their Twitter? Okay, gotcha. All right, right off the bat, you guys, this is a pixelated game. Okay, Ruby AC. I, I can't let it end here. Sure, I got fired from the firm. I have to move back in with mom. Someday, somehow, I'll come back. All right, so I'm not really sure about the controls here. Oh, so we can use mouse. Cool. All right. Um, how, how are we maneuvering here? Oh, bus is picking us up. So were we leaving, living here in this, like, seedy hotel? Maybe. I don't know. Nice purple bus. So we're being uh, transported back to the country the countryside Peaberry coffee bottom <laughs> the evening coffee is truly the king of coffees sip you may need the morning coffee to get through the daily grind but in the evening you can truly appreciate the perks Blech. what is that awful taste does he oh, I was gonna say does he have cornrows I <laughs> couldn't tell for a minute <laughs> cough cough what the can't get catch my breath oh no oh no is he gonna the poison who oh no oh a mysterious shadow figure now i will take what is mine interesting Oh, you guys, I'm into this. I love a good intrigue, and this is totally up my alley. Townbro, Townberg, several weeks later. Okay. So was that like a rich uncle or just somebody that just, okay, I don't know. Here you go, honey. This came for you in the mail. I swear all you do is mope around the house since you lost your job. 
Living here can't be that bad. Well, it depends on how old you are. A letter? Is it handwritten? And sealed with wax? Whatever happened to sending someone email? Really? I mean, I would appreciate a letter that was handwritten and then sealed with wax. I think that's really fancy, super personal, nice little touch. And I'm a nerd. The will of P. Burry Coffee Bottom, youngest heir, trial by beans, inherit his entire fortune. So was I a grandfather or uncle or something? I'm rich. Sorry about the, you guys know. So Chuckler, frustrated donkey hairs. Beans was made by three people. Mm, I can't get that. Wow, here it is, just like the letter said. This is so exciting to think my daughter has her very own business and she has no idea how to run it properly. <sighs> oh, let's see. Let's get inside. I can't wait. I'm so excited for you, honey. Look, mom. Just because the old Toriyama laundry concern was bought and rebuilt into a coffee shop in a week doesn't mean that letter was real. We shouldn't get our hopes. Oh, there's a limo. Oh, goodness. Okay. A humper. We've arrived, miss. About time. I wanted to get this over with. This hick town is already staining me with this mediocrity. Hi, uh, are you Mr. Coffee Bottom? Ha! This peasant can't even tell a coffee bottom from a butler. Worthless. And she's supposed to be a relative of mine? Peasant? I'm sorry, who invited the stuck-up brat? That would be Miss Rosalina Coffee Bottom, granddaughter of the late Peabury Coffee Bottom. That's right, our family is the wealthiest, wealthiest coffee empire in the world. And don't call me a brat. I'm one year older than you. Isn't that right, Dinos? Yes, that is correct. That is why we are here. Mr. Coffee Bottom's will was quite specific. His youngest heir will be given a loan in a coffee shop. If they can prove their skills, they will inherit his fortune. That's great and all, but uh, I don't have any clue how to run a coffee shop. <laughs> Pathetic. I'll be in the limousine, Dinos. I don't know what I was so worried about. Stupid peasant doesn't even know how to pour a cup of... <laughs> uh, so, I was instructed to assist you, assist you in opening your first restaurant. To start, did you have a name to, in mind for your restaurant? You know what? I'm going to stop because that is the worst English accent ever. It can be whatever your heart desires. <laughs> well, beans. Mom. Very good, Miss Ace. God, I'm too excited. I'm going to tell... All my friends down at the center. Oh, and I need to rub it in Aunt Gertrude's smug face. See you later, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Very good, Missies. Shall we begin? There I go. Let's do it. I mean, how hard could it be? How hard could it be? Well, them's last words. Okay, so how do I navigate? So it's just kind of a, a thing where we just go here, here. I don't know. Welcome to your new restaurant, Miss Ace. Thanks. Look at this. Look, this is strange enough as it is without you acting so formal. Please just call me Ruby. Very well, Ruby. Why don't you spend a few minutes getting acquainted? Then we shall, as you say, be on the grind like a baller. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even going to acknowledge that. Okay, let's just work. <laughs> okay, what's next? Should uh, I have some kind of coffee cooker? Maker. Coffee maker. Select the appliances menu and purchase a cash register, a tip jar, a sink, and a coffee pot. These are the bare necessities. Come back later and experiment with other appliances. Note that after we're done here, you can move and rotate these appliances by holding down the shift key and clicking on them. You may not delete an appliance. Okay, so shift key and click. Gotcha. So right or left click? I assume right, left, left. Okay, so this is the menu. 
Oh, here's another clucker. Uh, the Matt Day. I also write books. Hashtag Arthur, author, hashtag writer, hashtag poverty, hashtag food stamps, hashtag depression, hashtag bagel. Okay, so here's the um, what we need to do. So we need to buy a register, sink, tip jar, and coffee pot. So appliances, cash register. All right, so we can put this wherever. Um... Let's see. We're gonna put it right. Oh, we can rotate it? Or. Uh, Swing it here. Oh, okay, let's just put it here. Okay. And then we need to buy a sink. Um, let's see. Is that also appliances? Tip jar. All right, we'll put the tip jar right next to the register. How about that? And then, we, oh, this just goes in order. Okay, cool. So how about we put the sink here? And what else? Coffee pot. All right, let's put the coffee pot right here in the middle. This place is a little empty for my taste. Customers will most likely feel the same way. Chairs to sit in and tables to set drinks on will help attract more customers. Select the furniture menu now and place a table and a chair on either side. Okay. Once you've placed something, if you're unhappy with where it is, hold the shift key, click it, and move it to your liking or remove it with right click once this discussion has con concluded. All right. So furniture, we need a cheap wooden table. Um, let's put it here for now. Make it a little more personal. We can get some chairs. So I'm going to purchase. Now, are these like, okay, okay, there we go. We need another chair. Yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. Whoops. So far, so good. All right, there is a day-night cycle. This place could use some style, though. Select the decor menu and add a ficus. More decor means more appeal, which means more customers. All right. The current customer appeal is displayed across the bottom along with your bank balance. This determines how much, how many customers will come into the shop, and so it's very important. Okay. Well, this updates all the time. Bad day twenty one at real Britney, Britney Bears looks like an outs an inside out dragon fruit. Real talk. Okay, so we need a ficus decor. Uh, oh, it's okay. So it's nine fifteen p.m. All right, let's. I don't know where do we put the ficus. Can you put it? Let's just put it back here. No, can't put it here. No, no. Okay. Great. You can also temporarily, but significantly increase your appeal by hosting events later on. Try to time them with rush hour to get the most out of them. Okay. One last thing before the customers start coming in. You need to create a menu. What recipes you can learn is determined by the appliances you own. You can experiment more later. Okay. For now, research a black coffee by dragging the coffee pot into the recipe area of the research menu and press research okay uh uh where's the recipe area where's the where's it at food and drink oh <laughs> yes okay so like that research uh common recipe and lock off Coffee, black, indecision personified. All right, so can we learn another one? Oh, great, <laughs> guess not. Great job for this tutorial. I'll tell you how to make each recipe. Simply click on question mark in the menu tab of the food drink menu as you add appliances. Be warned, I will not extend this courtesy in your next restaurant. You may, however, continue to purchase recipes from me at a cost of $35. Daddy's gotta eat. <laughs> Customers will always order their favorite and will pay a lot for it. But can customers for hints on how to research new recipes, okay? Now that all that's left is to wait for customers to arrive, I'll be here with tips from time to time. Click on me to hear them. Check the progress tab for some guidance on your next goal. Remember to take a break and save the game with the escape button once in a while. Best of luck. All right. So it's events, 
food customer appeal 25 let's see can we learn a new recipe research failed terrific is you already researched this exactly how much celery seeds did you put in this terrific is it's too sweet okay let's try this again then you've already okay all right clear that then so what do we have in our menu and this is the recipe browser click on a recipe for more information okay so we just have this um we just need the coffee pot then all right employees um so progress okay so we need to research a cappuccino earn a thousand dollars host an event spent serve 150 customers reach 100 customer appeal and hire two employees all right we got a little bit of a checklist so let's hire Jacob Proctor, an old flame from college, still doesn't have a job, works slowly and talks a lot about exits, exit, existentialism. That is a $50 word. Okay. Hire him because it's never a mistake to hire an ex. <laughs> All right. Why, well, hello. Welcome. All right. So do we sleep at all? Um, it's 6.15 in the morning. So how do we open up? Progress, events, poetry slam. All right. Um, yeah, so how do we open up? Wait for some customers. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so we really do nothing at this point. We just kind of let it go. Gotcha. Um, you know what this feels like? Do you, there's these games that people play on their phone um, idle games. That's kind of what it feels like a little bit, but I mean, there's obviously no, it's like idle games. Um, oh, let's click on him. Aha! You received a tip. Happy customers tip more. Keep customers happy by keeping lines short and providing lots of seating. Customers will also give you a huge tip if you make their favorite item. Click to collect a tip. All right, so do we, oh. Oh, okay. So should I add more furniture? How much is that? Um, cheap plastic chair. Um, oh, okay. So we got some choices. We got a big table here. I mean, I don't know if I should be spending any money right now. So your crazy Uncle Ron who lives in that weird trailer really hates the government and cilantro grows an extensive collection of hostas. I mean, I do like hostas. So he's got speed service. Mom, dear old mom, moves a little slowly and likes to talk to customers but won't charge you much. May not show up if she's at bingo. Okay. So it's between mom and Uncle Ron. Um, I mean, there's really not a whole difference. Let's just, let's hire mom. Okay. Let's be nice. Hire mom. We may need the extra help, it looks like. Um, and looks like we may need another table. Okay. Uh, let's, let's buy this table. Let's put it here. Um, oh gosh, can we move this? Okay, there we go. You know, OCD kicking in. Um, all right. See, look at this. They're sitting with each other. You know, how we used to do. All right, purchase. Alright, put this here. I feel like we need maybe some more appliances soon, but maybe some decor. Another ficus, perhaps? Um, oh, nice. Okay, so let's look at the appliances. We have an espresso machine that's $25. Let's wait till we get $10 more, and then we'll buy the espresso machine. Um, okay. So we'll do that. Um, let's see what else we got. Food and drink, events, poetry slam. So it costs two fifty to to do a poetry slam. All right, gotcha. Can we turn the music off? Oh, we got different music. Cool beans. Cool beans. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this. All right, so maybe we should just go ahead and upgrade. Oh, let's kick this money. How much do we have? Oh, that's just stuff thrown. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy it. 
YOLO it out. Purchase the espresso machine. Put it right here. All right. So appliances. No. Food and drink. Research. So then we can do this. Nice. So we learned espresso. Studies have shown that the most important ingredient to an espresso is the wool hat worn by the barista. Quality increases with the raggedness of the hat. <laughs> okay. Um, what if we put both of these in here? Research fail. Fast mass. A dried up fast mass reeking of romaine lettuce spectacular. Okay. So that didn't work. Okay. Um, uh, menu. Okay, so that's it. We learn espresso and coffee black. I just thought maybe you could combine the two together, but apparently not. All right, so what's next? Let's read this. Batty 21. Okay, that we already read that one. So now what? What do we do now? Can we talk to you? How about we talk to mom? Nope. What's going on here? All right. 1.30 in the morning. No one's coming. Um, we've got $86. Should we, should we add more decor? Hmm. <clears throat> we might be risking it. Let's see. What do we have? Another ficus. A sign would be cool though. You know what? Let's put it. It's a menu board. Why not add to the appeal? So we now appeal a 45. What's here? We can turn this down. Let's turn this down a little bit. All right. So we've got an appeal of 45. Um, progress. We've hired two employees. All right. So we still need to reach a customer appeal of 100. We still need to serve 150 customers. Oh, it shows us how many we've got hired. Uh, research failure. Yeah, I know. I realize this. I realize this. Um, oh, the end is high. I cannot believe if I read a bean feed or bean feed article that said that Clucker is doomed because bean face is more popular with old people. Hashtag save Clucker. <laughs> okay, well, see, I don't know how to feel about that. All right, um, you know, let's move this ficus. I feel like it's, I feel like it's, you know what? Let's move this over. How about that? I feel like. We could do better. Move this. And then move this over. See? That that feels a little better. Doesn't feel... Okay. And then here. Can we, like... Maybe I can... Do this here. And, like, rotate it. Okay. No, you can't. All right. Let's bring... Okay. This is fine. Let's just bring this over here. Can we move this up a little bit? How far, how close together can we do this? Okay. okay. Let's clean this up. And nobody's coming in. It is 1045, 11 o'clock. We've made $10. Okay, here's someone. I'm getting a little swamped here, Albert. How about lending me a hand behind the counter? This is your test, Ruby. I cannot help you directly. Instead, I suggest hiring an employee for you. For now, these these are friends and family, so they will not charge you. This will not always be the case. Employees, huh? I always knew I was a management material. I'll have to make a post about this later. I have an old boss who told me I'd never be responsible for anything more than compl more complicated than an inclined plane. Funny thing was that we didn't even work at the airport. Okay, so let's hire... Our uncle. <laughs> this should go well. Yeah. So we've got our ex-boyfriend, our mom, and our uncle. Our eccentric uncle. All right. These people are filthy. Dude, can we get a trash can or something? Uh, this is $25. Not quite yet. What is this? Made from human bones. Bound in human flesh. Souls percolated to infinity Fahrenheit. But hey, it was 80% off on Spamazon. Pour over brewer. Okay. Nice. Nice. What is this? Is this like... Oh! I never knew. Okay. I think they did tell me to click on the tip bar. I see. Okay, so you know what? Let's get... 
the pour over brewer. Let's put this right here. Can we get more counter space? All right, so now let's uh, receive food and drink. Okay, so research. Now we use this. We learned how to make tea, black tea. Employees aren't per se told to look down on anyone who orders tea. It's just heavily implied. So I'm just, I'm curious. I just want to know. Chai tea. Sweet. So you can combine. Okay. The last customer to ask for pumpkin spice was mailed back to their family over the course of a month. Oh my gosh. So go ahead. Ask for pumpkin spice. You feeling lucky? I would never suggest to ask. For, oh, oh my gosh. It's dirty in here. Look at this. All right. So now we probably should get some more uh, tables and chairs. All right. Um, yep. Oops. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Is what? Oh, let's talk to... Oh, no. A customer had a complaint. When you see angry faces, make sure to quick click on the customer address their concern oh okay well now you tell me <laughs> right honestly it was just because I didn't have enough table and chairs that's all that was so we're making money fast now all right um let's see if we can upgrade Ooh, a blender yes let's get the blender let's get the blender Ooh, what can we make all right so Research. Oh, research. Furtive chunks. I don't know what kind of furtive chunks you were expecting, but this one is too salty. I don't even I don't even know what that I don't even know what that means. How about coffee pot and blender? Research failed. Alert goo. Exactly how much apricots did you put in this alert goo? It's disgusting. Okay, what 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 would I even put? I'm wasting money. Um Espresso machine and blender. Research fails. S -s 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 stupendous wab of filth. You suspend stupendous wab of filth. I can't even say that word. Stupendous. I don't know what kind of stupendous wab of filth you were. Okay. You know what? What did we try? We tried the pour over brewer. I don't even know what else to do here at this point. Um, I don't want to research anymore. Because y'all are destroying me <laughs> with, I should at least try one more. I don't even remember what I tried. Let's see. Does it tell me? Chai tea. And just, okay. So it doesn't. It doesn't say. That would be nice. It would be nice if you could show, what is this? Show like what you, what combinations you tried. Um, just a thought for the devs. Just so you, you can keep track you know, otherwise you could use this as a notebook game because we all love a good notebook game here. Okay. But, um, so we tried the coffee pot in the blender, I think. I think we tried the espresso. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the blender and the pour over. Overconfident effigy. After trying mom's recipe for overconfident effigy, that's exactly what you got. Why do you think that would be okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so that did not work out. Maybe it's another appliance that we need. Syrup dispenser. I could see that working with the blender. Warning, contains new synthetic megralose. Side effects may include immediate and irre irreversible thigh growth. Also death. <laughs> uh, a dairy cooler. Oh, I see. We probably do need like milk or something to go with the blender to maybe make a, I don't know, a smoothie, not a smoothie, like an ice, maybe a nice coffee. We've got a microwave, a rotary toaster, ice machine. Okay. All right. So we probably need the ice machine with the blender with the coffee, ice coffee. Um, let's purchase. I'm right in my counter space. All right, now let's see what we got. Um, 
food and drink, blender, ice machine. There we go. What? Halting goo. After tasting this dusty halting goo, I could taste nothing but Angelique, Angelica for hours. Why? I don't know. I tried. Maybe I need milk. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe I need milk. Okay, what do we got? Let's go back. Dairy cooker, cooler. Uh, can I put this on the floor? All right. This is not easy. Okay, so maybe it's a specific order. So coffee, dairy, ice, blender. Sparkling drippings. After tasting this destroyed sparkling drippings, I could taste nothing but yellow cake for hours. Why? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Ice machine, blender, coffee. No, we tried this. Espresso with dairy? Workable drippings. Exactly how much goji berry did you put in this workable drippings? It's overcooked. I'm so, I'm so sorry, I don't know. Um, express, oh, how about ice and coffee? Ice coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. All right, let's clean up. So what else could we make? So we got ice coffee. How about um, ice coffee, dairy with the ice? No. All right, it's briny. Okay. I, th I just thought... I just thought maybe. I don't know. I do kind of like the idea of researching to get recipes rather than the recipes just being there. Definitely makes it a little more interactive. Otherwise, it does feel like an idle game, which honestly, if this is what you like, I think this would be perfect for people who are into that. I have played an idle game here and there, and I don't mind them. Um, this one takes a little more um, attention obviously than your normal idle game but it does give me that feel i do like it though uh cash tech always make sure to point your cash registers at your customers okay i did did i not mm. okay so what how are we looking we have oh yeah you know what let's let's look at the furniture or decor um do we need another one of these Big corporate makes everything so clean and efficient. Rebel stack of shipping crates. Um, Rebel authentic companies leave boxes and crates everywhere. Really, really. Um, where am I gonna put this? Hey, anyway, let's just put that there. What else we got? Bucket full of broken instruments. Why? A broken lamp. Why? Why? Fake wine rack. I mean, but this is a coffee. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to question that. What else do we have? Bookshelf. Okay, I can see that. You don't read. Nobody reads anymore. But owning books makes you look sophisticated and cool. Just don't let your customers see anyone reading one. Ah, that does make sense. Um, Let's put that books. Okay. Let's put it right here. Next to the ficus. Right? Okay. Um... What do we got? 80. Okay, so we need one more. What else we got? Pumpkin. Ooh, that's expensive though. Yeah, we can't afford that. Um, hmm. We could go with another bookshelf. That would be a cheap way. That's 30 bucks though. Let me move this over. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, well, that's too late because I didn't mean to purchase that, but um, all right. So let's move this over a little bit so we can make room for another bookshelf because I feel like these bookshelves need to be near each other like that see matching set and then put these close together oh I addressed your issue you know there were other chairs in here right oh we made a fave Sir, what what is your issue? I 
I don't know what his issue is. We click, it click, click, click. <laughs> Can I not? Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't, I can't click on that. All right, let's clean up. That's, okay. Can you help us, Alfred, please? Can, can we, can we, all right. Whatever. So we're now at the customer appeal. Now we need to serve 150 customers. We have served how many? How many, how many, how many, how many, how many? It doesn't say. Customers, 54. Okay. My goodness. $22, nice. Can we move this now? So we do, we can't move this if there's customers. Lovely. No. Okay. Come on, dude. You're, there's a table right here. Oh, what is this? Favorite. Got an angry fist with a swan and hasn't been the same since. Oh, a bean shot. Okay, so they want a microwave. Okay, let's, let's buy a microwave. I'm not even sure what the microwave, what we need the microwave for. All right, let's talk to him. Someone took a customer's seat. They're jerks like that sometimes. While it will frustrate them, there's not much you can do about it, so don't stress too much. I, I didn't know. I didn't even notice. I, I had no idea. So do I just need to put another table down? Is that, is that what we need to do? Is that, we'll just do that then. Furniture and another table. Rotate. And, uh, what, why is he over here? I'm so confused right now because, sir, got an angry, okay, he wants, what, what is this? Nani? Oh, he exploded. He exploded. Oh, he wanted a toaster. Sir, there was no need to explode. Furniture. All right, let's... Where am I going to put that? Like, where do I put this? Oh. Warning, do not trust the leprechaun. Do not search for skull without wearing an oven mitt. Okay. So... Oh, my goodness. There's no... There's no room. Can I move this? Okay, let's move this over. Move this over. Can I put this here? No. Nope. How about this? Move this here. Now can I put this down? Okay, I need more car I need more space. Oh my gosh, it's totally dirty in here. Ew. We've made so much money. Okay, this could be actually kind of addicting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie, but this could actually be really addicting. Okay. All right, so, escape. We're gonna save this really quick. All right, so basically I've been playing this for like 40 minutes now, maybe close to there, but um, I'd like to say that I'm really enjoying this game so far. It definitely gives me that idle game feel, but a little more interaction, which I like. Um, I would like to see more because it says there's some intrigue and murder. So I assume, I'm assuming there's a story somewhere. Um, haven't quite seen it yet, um, but I assume as you progress through the tutorial, you will begin to open up the, the, the actual game more because this is the first store as alfred discussed so once you reach the goals i assume that you are given another store and you start from scratch so i'm going to continue to play because i'm i'm addicted right now so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of um uh coffee beans um i think it's called coffee beans <laughs> how bad is that um, but I hope you enjoyed this playthrough and I definitely enjoyed it. I would definitely, uh, recommend beans. Um, if you're into pixelated games, if you're into, 
um, management of any kind, uh, idle games, um, storylines. So this definitely has a story to it. Just didn't get a chance to play it. But yeah, highly recommend it. I had a great time. Um, warning, people said there's some bugs. I haven't um, seen maybe but one, and I'm not sure what that was about. But other than that, yeah, great little game. And I do thank you again to White Thorn Games and Indie Bros for allowing me to play your game and review it. All right, guys. Until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. I will talk to you later. Ciao.